Welcome to tonight's game. It promises to be a good one between the Indiana Hoosiers and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Dick, you look at this one and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Cornhuskers are clearly outmatched on paper in this one, Dick. What's the key to pulling off a victory for them? Here are a couple of keys, Brad. First, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Secondly, take away their outside shooters. Force them to put the ball on the floor. Force them to drive, baby. Finally, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep them off the block, push them away from the low box, and force them to shoot jump shots. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He up fakes. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Trying to pack it inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Takes the pass in the paint. Foul called. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. He goes to the line. He missed it. Nice rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. They work it around the perimeter. On the inside. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's electrifying in here. Mitchell handles the feed. Now the high screen. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. The turn of fadeaway jumper. Can't get the shot to go. He'll regroup the offense. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Great play to take that to the basket. Inside, Mitchell handles the pass, and off the mark. And he scores it off the glass. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Stolen away. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game, and it's probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. Missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Tries to get the D to bite. Stop and pop. Gets it to go. The shooting guard receives the pass. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Inside, 
That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Fed the low block. In the paint. And up, doesn't go. The shooting guard receives the ball. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. He keeps the dribble as they reset. On the inside, there's the fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He looks for the bomb. He nails the shot. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Both teams looking to get things going here. Up and inside! Boy, terrible execution on offense. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. They work it around the perimeter. Launches the three. He gets it to fall. Mitchell is feeling good. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. In and out. Trying to draw the foul. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The ball goes out of bounds. Control of the ball. High post flashes. Tries a three. Way off target. With a bucket, blocks the shot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Now they work it around the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. On the dribble, gives it up. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. And they get the turnover. Oh. 
will take the shot. Goes in. There's the trap. Looking for the foul. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. The ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is not what anyone expected heading into tonight's matchup. Some sort of rhythm needs to be established now. Thanks, Aaron. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. They'll work it around the arc. He wants a three. He shows the sweet touch. The skip pass is picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He's money with the shot. That's a seven zip run. And a momentary look from three point land. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Can't get the shot to drop. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Basket and the harm for the senior. He's got a big time heart, baby. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Time to pick up the defense here now. He makes a nice shot fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. Good job defensively. Transition opportunity coming up with authority. Look at that spacing. Looking for a good shot. They've left him completely alone. He intercepts it. Here they go into transition. Up and inside. He shoots from downtown. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper.
He hits his second. He makes them all. Defense giving some room and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Trying to draw some contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Double team now, bad angle. He unloads a three. Got it. Blocks the shot. Say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Picked out of the air. For two. Can't get the shot to go. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Jumps into the defender. Gets it to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. Goes up for two. And in and out. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Gets it back out on the outside. Picked off. Up and inside. Looks at a three. Indiana are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Yeah. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Perfectly executed. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Jumps in, and he missed. Gave it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Steals a pass. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. <laughs> the high 
high screen. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gets the ball and now here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. You can't forget about them. The witty rumor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Picks off the lazy pass. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. They're off into transition. For two, Indiana are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Drains the shot. in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from left of the circle. The Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Intercepted. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Top of the circle. Oh, yes. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. It's crazy in here, Brad. Great swat. Hey, it looks like he was swatting flies in the summertime. Gave it up. He takes the three. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Hoosiers are trailing by 18. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. The way I look at it, Brad, I think the fans just want to be entertained. <laughs> well, you're talking about it. To be completely honest, Dick, so do I. I'm the one always to root for the underdog. Why not? What are the odds? Way out on top, controlling the ball. Up fake with a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Takes away the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. They work the perimeter, fires away. There was no doubt about that one. The Cornhuskers are ahead by 19. 
Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Knocks it down. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. That's good. He better get rid of it, Brad. Outside jumper. The Cornhuskers are up by 18. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Moving it around the perimeter. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He fouled him. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Great double team, really explosive. Three, way off target. Looking for contact. He shoots off the rim and no good. Kicked out from down low. There's the pick. Dump it inside. From downtown. Makes the shot. <laughs> that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He drains the bucket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Leans in. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Rims out. On the outside. He intercepts it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's a double team. Gave it up. Number 44 grabs it. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Hobbs receives the pass. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. He takes the shot off the baseline. The Cornhuskers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple.
come with a double team to stop it. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the angle. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Double team now, bad angle. Perfectly executed. The Cornhuskers lead by 20. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picked off. Working it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. They work the perimeter. He fires from long range. Sinks it. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Rejects it. He buries it. They scored eight in a row. Steals a pass. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Fakes the shot. For two. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. We're ready to get back to the action. the perimeter picks off the lazy pass goes up for two he gets it to go they score 12 in a row for the bucket doesn't go goes up for two trying to draw the foul basket falls despite the contact for two. Perfectly executed. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He takes the shot from the baseline. Way off target. He attempts a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. 
they add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Makes those free throws count. Wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. The Hoosiers seemingly have a solid number of seniors in their lineup, Dick. Hey, Brad, you know I love seniors. By the time they're in their fourth year of eligibility, they are solid and reliable basketball players. He shoots from the baseline. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Looking for the foul. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. I think they're trying to make a statement. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this free game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. Thanks, Aaron. Sets the screen for his teammate. Off the rim and no good. Fakes a jumper. He tries a jump hook. And in and out. For the bucket. Indiana are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He puts it in with contact and all. Pump fakes. He goes with a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He unloads. The Hoosiers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. situation looking like to you. I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Control of the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressure on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. And the ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the high post. He pulls the trigger. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Randy's on fire. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. They'll work it around the arc. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. 
Gave it up. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Here's a flash from the post up high. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick oh. enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside, outside, out. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a good shot. He looks for the bomb. You bet. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint for the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. The Cornhuskers are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Indiana are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Dump it inside. Mitchell receives the ball. Number 32 with the fake. And now they'll bring it up. Booker in the post. Tries for two. The Cornhuskers will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Working it around the perimeter. He comes away with it. Moving it around the perimeter. The shooting guard handles the pack. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. He'll visit the charity strike. Gets it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. There's the trap. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And the fans are going wild. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is rejected out of there. Nice block shot. The small forward takes the feed. He puts up the tray. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. the bucket despite the harm.
for two. And he scores despite the hack. Taken away. They run it up into transition. Buries it. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. With a fadeaway jumper, look at that follow through. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding them the ball. It's simple. They work it around the perimeter. The shooting guard takes the pass. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Put time out on the floor, and that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, thanks, Aaron. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? For the deuce. Basket falls despite the contact. Sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm, Brad. Let's see what happens here. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. We get another look at it in the lane. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Gets it back out. There they come with a double team to stop it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a good shot. Ten seconds on the clock. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. That's right, Brad. They have to foul. They want to stop the clock, Brad. Stops the clock again. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing, you don't get a big edge as a home team. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. is good. A bucket here is crucial. Let's get ready to resume the action. Seven seconds to put it up. Shot clock is dead. He attempts the three. Not there. 
And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. With the free one. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second shot, good. Timeout's called on the court. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. The three rims out. Now, terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. You know, upsets like this don't grow on trees. We see it once in a while, but this one still got me a little baffled. Well, I think what happened, Brad, they really weren't focused, and right now this will bring the reality. I think they start getting a little cocky, maybe reading their press clippings, but now maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better come to play, and we better be ready. And I think that starts with practice. Nebraska wins the game. The team has got to feel good about a win like this. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.